And what the Nyala does is he walks like this. And he looks out of the side of his head like that and carries on. Unfortunately, I had a very bad time the other day. I was set upon by Tingana the male leopard, and he killed me. He, 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 he sort of, he, he bit me there. Are we live? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Here I am lying in the road as one does on a blustery day. And the reason I'm lying in the road is because. Well, my back's a little stiff and sore, but mainly because I was investigating this fairly large piece of mud. There, everybody, is a diagram of what we're about to show you at the Juma waterhole. Take a look at this. Uh, take a look at uh, this. There we, there we go. Ah, <laughs> this is unbelievable. There was a hippo right there, everyone. Um, but there is no longer a hippo over there. So let us observe the hippopotamus that I have drawn for you. A number of uh, amazing features, of course. Uh, the most important being that the nose of the hippopotamus, the eyes and the ears are on the same plane which means that if the hippo is lying under the water, let us pretend that that is the water's surface there, H2O, uh, you can see that it's, while it's... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> while it's head and <laughs> While its head, while its body is under the water here. So, it, uh, this is seriously, I mean, I'm genuinely trying to show you something here. Its nose, its eyes and its ears are out of the water. While it's standing on the, on the river floor. Like this. And then normally... I'm not swimming there, standing on the floor here. And, of course, also on the floor, you might find a couple of fish <laughs> and maybe a frog. <laughs> there we go. And a terrapin. I forgot about the terrapin. But the terrapin would be sitting over here. There we go. Basking in the sun. And that is how the life 
of the hippopotamus goes, I really, I, I can but apologise for that. Um, <laughs>